In this video, we're going to explore using a drum machine equipped with an analog clock output to sync the subharmonicon. In this example, I'm going to use the Roland TR606, which is a vintage analog drum machine that has two clock outputs. If you look up here where it says trigger out, we have an LT and an HT channel, which stands for low tom and high tom. I'm going to take the high tom channel and I'm going to patch it to the clock input on the subharmonicon. There's one step of preparation I need to do on the drum machine side. So I'm going to hit play. I'm going to make sure that I'm programming the HT or high tom channel that corresponds to the clock output that I'm using. And I'm going to enter 16th notes. Now that I've done this, I can return to the subharmonicon and hit play to arm the sequencer. Now, when I hit play on the TR-606, the two of them will be in sync. As you can see, this is a very simple way to sync the subharmonicon to an external instrument and very similar to the method of sync we explored in our video showing synchronization within the Mother32 ecosystem. One advantage to using a drum machine for this procedure is that we can do things like alter the clock to change how the subharmonicon's rhythm moves. And let's look at how that works. So what I'm going to do is remove some of the steps that I programmed in the 16th notes to make more of a rhythmic pattern than a straight clock. As you can see, this is an interesting way to change some of the clocking behavior on the subharmonicon, and it's something that you'd be able to do with any drum machine equipped with an analog clock output or even a Eurorack sequencer.